I was so impressed with with Kitayama this weekend. I, I mean, it's one thing to recover from a seven with nine holes left, but when you've got Rory, Hovland, Hatton, Spieth, just Cantlay, Scheffler coming around the coming around the bend, and you're trying to win for the first time in the PGA Tour, and you play the last nine and one under. That's that's it's pretty impressive, you know, and and uh, he's not a he's not a nobody. He was 40, whatever, 47 in the world coming in. I didn't realize this, Rick. I, I actually went to look this up because I was going to make the point that, you know, this time next year, Kurt Kitayama would not even be in the field if he if he because um, I thought he was outside the top 50 in the uh, FedEx Cup last year, but he finished like 38th in the FedEx Cup. He yeah, gets I mean, the most out of his starts, his yes. good ones. Yeah. yeah. He, he, Greg, Greg, you, you talked about this a little bit earlier in the week. It's, it's that, it's that 80 20 rule or the 20 80 rule. Yes. And then also, you, you had kind of mentioned this. Like, he, even though those runner up finishes, he hasn't really backed down. He hasn't like lost anything. He's a pretty gritty guy. And then to hear the quote from, uh, from Kyle there just saying, like, you know, between nine and 10, it's like, or maybe with Patrick who said it, just like, I'm, I'm not choking this away. Like I, I feel fine. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. I mean, there's a couple things about him that I find really interesting. We said yet last night, he's the ultimate popper. And I, I was looking through the PGA tour website and his, How'd that go for in, you? His, in his career, you know, it was pretty good. Um, five, five PGA tour top threes. Uh, five PGA Tour top tens, unless I was missing something. So all of his all of his top tens are top threes. Yeah, on the PGA Tour, which is incredible to me. Um, and then there's 25 missed cuts in his PGA Tour career as well. So this is a boomer bust kind of guy. And to me, he got a couple of things kind of dialed in this week that he hasn't all year. Um, it you saw the inconsistency in this performance because while he uh, hits two shots OB, makes two sevens on the weekend, uh, and is able to win. I mean, he he still he led the field or was tied first in driving accuracy. And he was one of only three players to hit 50 greens, which at Bay Hill, that's kind of a, a really important mark. If you can hit 50 greens, you're going to be right up there near the top. And now uh, five winners in a row have been top 10 in greens of regulation for the week. So it's a, a really important thing. But with Kitayama, he's 103rd on tour entering the week in greens of regulation, leads the field this week. Driving accuracy, 195th on the PGA Tour, leads the field this week. Uh, putting, he's 129th in strokes game putting, second for the week in, in strokes game putting. So uh, he made a lot of really big jumps, and, and he does that periodically throughout his career. It's just, it's cool that he did this in a, uh, in a designated event. I think real quick on the designated event part of that, Patrick is, you know, I know the, I, I, we were talking about this maybe on Thursday, Rick, but I know the, I know the event, the fields are not that much different than last year. They're they're I mean, they're not demonstrably different in terms of the quality of players in the field, but just the, just the fact that they've marked them, uh, like these are the important ones. I, I I think for somebody like Kitayama, who like if this was Bay Hill, say two years ago, I think you could look at a at a Kitayama win and say, well, I don't know, like some of the stars weren't there. It's a it's a good win. You can't. There's nowhere to hide now. Like you can't hide. You can't write off wins like this now. And I think just providing that context is a really meaningful thing. Like I think I, I think that that is actually a very important thing for the future of the tour and for fans is like, no, this was one of the 13 best wins of the year. Like just period, full stop. Because otherwise you could kind of just like hide it at the end of the year and uh and now you can't. And I think that's I think that's meaningful and I think it's important. I think Max Homa said <clears throat> at the beginning of the week that he was talking to some player who was in the Honda classic and the player was like, you know, it's just nice every once in a while knowing John Rom's not in the field. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so to your point, it's like this guy took down Scheffler, Rom, McElroy, and you have that benchmark of these events are going to be this high. And no matter how good, uh, you know, uh, 3M open might be down the stretch with, 
say three or four top tier players playing that and they all contend this this wins better like the numbers right there to back it up with 44 of the top 50 in the world uh and for someone like kitayama to do it i mean this is what makes sports great it, it's cool to see the titans battle it out every now and again but i love seeing the little guy win and he is, i mean he's only five seven but and it's the quads it's, though it, quad <laughs> yeah quadzilla and it, it's what makes sports great it's why you want to watch it because the majority of the time Roy McRoy, Scotty Scheffler, John Rahm, they're going to beat the Nick Taylors and the Kurt Kitayamas and the Keith Mitchells of the world. But when they don't, it just makes it that much better. The birdie on 17. Do we have that video? Let's run it. Kurt Kitayama right in the center of the cup with some pace. Dead in the heart. We kind of talked about it a little bit, Greg. The Coming up 18, he misses the fairway left. Missing the fairway left is a lot better than missing it right, but it's still no no piece of cake. He muscles up in, uh, a, I think it was an eight iron, to the middle of the green. He's got two putts to get it down from there, and I was a little bit worried because he took so much time. He read that putt every angle three times each. And, I mean, that's one of the rare putts in the game of golf that – uh, any one of us can tell you what it's going to do. Like everybody knows what that putt does. You just you you don't even have to have played Bay Hill. You know what it does, uh, and, and so you see. But I I certainly understand it. But that was that was three putt territory. I would say. Uh, and boy, uh, he made a great stroke despite how much time he took. And I'll tell you one other thing that that second shot in there. Even even when you play left, and you have a one shot lead. It's really narrow over there. Yeah, you know those bunkers mm-hmm. are not fun. And landing short and rolling it up the way you have to uh, coming out of the rough, it, it really narrows that area because you you can't miss right at that point. If you're gonna fly it past the flag, you, you have a little bit more room to the right. It gets wider. Um, but that that's why hitting that fairway is so important. And it was a. Uh, Kind of a, a gutsy shot to to pull that off. That how about how gutsy the uh, the the Scheffler shot was like two two groups earlier. That was the Victor shot from last year. <laughs> yeah, Victor. That's why I compared him to Dion Waiters. He's never seen a shot he he wasn't gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 pretty it's pretty amazing uh real quick on the the uh, kitayama 18 him marking the ball yeah. from like one millimeter is yeah, <laughs> i mean this how is, good is that this is what happens if you take like a deep breath by accident and knock it in? yeah this I, is actually the riskier thing to do like i you you are have a better chance of screwing up marking this yeah. than than tapping it in yeah so it's it's a very saucy, very very saucy move. I don't. I was trying to decide between that or Rory having to take his watch off to go play the playoff. Which one would be a so, like a more tour sauce thing? I think it's probably this. But Rory putting his watch on and then having to take it off to go win a tournament would be pretty hilarious. Also, congratulations, Kurt Kitayama, first PGA Tour victory, three point six million dollars. You're going to be a top twenty player in the world when you wake up on Monday morning. Congratulations.